due to the need to sort of uh, reallocate and divert sort of resources to where it's most needed to help uh, prepare for and address uh, the COVID-19 epidemic. It's resulting in sort of a desire to reduce a number of other kinds of laboratory testing that would be done for things like HIV and STI testing. Part of the concern is uh, access to sort of immediate or timely sort of health issues. So things like being able to access hormone therapy or gender affirming care. You know, like that is an essential health service that can't exactly just wait itself out. Operating hours uh, being reduced, clinical guidance that's being um, provided to different clients about so the need to reduce any kind of non-essential to the service. For queer and trans folks who already have disproportionate rates of mental health issues like depression and anxiety, the call to, to practice social distancing and to you know isolate oneself adds another layer of you know stress and uh, concern for folks who may rely on you know their social networks uh, to access you know support around a variety of different issues. So. As this uh, sort of pandemic continues to play out over a longer period of time, you know, requiring sort of ongoing social distancing measures, you know, what what sort of effect is that going to have on the mental health and well-being of you know the communities that we work with? As this plays out longer, you know, there'll be a need to sort of consider well, what's our sexual health messaging and how do we look after our mental health and well-being. Um, if this, you know, turns out to be several months or, you know, even longer, um, it's really hard to say at this point.